Our topic is buffer reader class. It is present under package IO, that is java.io package. So how we will write it? We will write import java.io.star semicolon like import java.util.star uh, java semicolon instead of util we will write here io because we are using here buffer reader in this current class we have used util package how we will create object now you see buffer reader br br is our object equals to new buffer reader the new input stream reader system.in so it takes input as a stream so using input stream reader it takes input then we convert it into buffer reader using buffer reader class and then it takes input it creates the object now br is the object now how we will take the input suppose we want to take input as integer so int i equals to integer dot parts int br dot read line so why this much we are using this is our original um, function read line function this function we use to take input but buffer reader cannot convert value where it means in stream or string into its equivalent uh, primitive data type so we need wrapper class that is integer that parts int this wrapper class we need okay suppose example is there a scanner class a scanner class here scanner sc equals to new scanner system dot in that is our sc object scanner class object if you want to take input i again then how we will write sc dot next int directly but here using this function we cannot convert we cannot take input we can take input but we cannot convert it into integer so to convert it into integer we use this integer dot parse int okay <clears throat> similarly suppose we want to convert into double we want to take double value then we will write double dot parse double we are dot read line parse double single word float f equals to uh, float dot uh, parse float again this is a single word parse float br dot read line to take character cat c br dot read string br dot read line or br dot read so if you are using read line that means you can take a sentence a big sentence you can take if you are using read only only single word without any space so let's see one example how we can create the program suppose this is a program write a program to take input to integers and add them so first import java.io.start semicolon instead of util we will use here io then class add then void main after void main we will write io exception why io exception because it takes some value if any input output exception occurs then it throws that so actually it is not io exception it will be throws io exception throws io exception throws then space io exception okay so afterwards uh, buffer reader br equals to new buffer reader input a uh, new input stream reader system dot in that object we have to create then suppose we are taking we are taking one integer first integer suppose enter first integer int a equals to integer dot parse int br dot read line and then another second integer b int b equals to integer dot parse in br dot read line afterwards same thing that is simple you take another variable and add the values and then print the values so that is the program using that we can uh, add two numbers so obviously it takes much space to write that's why we prefer scanner class otherwise uh, things are easier only uh, if you uh, you have to remind you have to mem memorize this line this thing after function you have to write this then this big line you have to memorize and then whenever you will take the inputs instead of a small line small only this function you have to memorize you have to remember this function also parse int function or parse float function or parse double function that is our scanner class